it doesn't matter that 40% of Americans are obese. What matters is that 40% of Americans don't want to be obese. It doesn't matter that the great majority of them already know what to do. What matters is that they don't do what they know they should do. And lastly, it doesn't matter who I am or what I want. What matters is who you are and what you want. If you're overweight or obese and don't want to be that way anymore, if you're one of those who already know what they should do but just haven't been able to do it for any length of time, then this is for you. It's time for you to change your thoughts, and with that, you will change your world. You have absolutely no idea what I have in mind for you. I have this big idea. I feel as though I'm filled with this pregnant, nebulous cloud of promise. And although I have a general concept of where I'm asking you to go, I do not yet know exactly how we will get there. But I'm pretty sure that in the end, we will have the self-empowerment to accomplish pretty much anything you set your mind to, the least of which might be weight loss. And this is just the beginning. So are you ready? Although my first book helped a few people, I was disappointed with the end result. And I thought, well, done with that, got that t-shirt, but I was wrong. I'm going to try again. The difference this time is that I'm going to do something different than most other folks. Um, the only thing I want to do, my entire focus, my sole effort is expended towards the goal of helping you to change your thoughts because they are the root cause. It's important you understand that, the root cause, and if you can change that, you can change most anything. I mean, you can eat the right things and make the right choices for a while, but if you don't change your thoughts, there will be a reversion towards the mean. There always is. It's inevitable. It's like economics. It's like when a type 2 diabetic takes insulin or metformin uh, for the symptom of hyperglycemia. They are treating that, but nothing changes. The pathology is still there. The root cause, which is of course obesity in most cases. And the only thing that I ask of you, my only request, the only thing you must do is to have an open mind. You must be an active participant in your own reality. You have to want it. Because ultimately, it's you who must change your thoughts in order to change your world. And my only role is to help you help yourself. I feel like my experiences in life have brought me to this point, this uh, most beautiful intersection. And it's important that you believe me, but it's much more important that you believe in yourself. So it's time we get started with more of the nuts and bolts of things. There are basically two competing themes in the diet universe. On the far left lie the plant-based diets, which largely exclude animal products, including dairy. This is a high carb, low fat strategy in general. Whereas on the far right lies the ketogenic, low carb, higher fat strategies. Now some authors over here on the left are saying that a fat intake over 10% of daily caloric needs is bad and that meat and eggs will kill you. Well, some of the authors over here on the right are saying that fat is good and natural and you can eat all the eggs and meat and plants you want as long as they're the right kinds. I would like to point out that the traditional Atkins diet was indiscriminate relative to the type of fat and I am not a component of that. In that sense, I don't have an issue with the good fats in moderation. A recent popular strategy gaining some traction is the intermittent fasting strategy, which I put in the middle because it is a caloric sensitive, a caloric sensitive model. What I mean by that caloric sensitive is that you have to be much more careful with counting calories here in the middle than you do out here on the right or the left because when you mix carbohydrates and fat in significant proportions, that's when you get into trouble. It is the combination of carbohydrates and fat that kills, especially the combination of sugar and refined carbs and the bad fats. They'll eventually kill you for sure. So here in the middle, you must honor the first law of thermodynamics, which tells us that energy cannot be created or destroyed. If you eat it, you own it. It's that simple. You must count calories. When you get to either extreme, right or left, each of them is restrictive enough relative to the fat or carbohydrates such that counting calories is less important. However, over here on the far right, it's more important because of the energy density of fat. 
which is of course high. So if you're not careful, you can eat too much good fat and defeat your goals. As with everything, all these diets represent a bell curve with a larger middle than is found at either end. I've read most of these books and many others. The truth is that there is much more in common with all of these diets than there is that is different. What is common amongst all of them is the following. They all discourage the ingestion of refined carbohydrates and sugar, and they all discourage the ingestion of the bad fats, such as trans fats and most omega-6s. Where they differ is in the amount of animal products consumed, and whether or not your fat intake is less than or greater than 10%, and likewise with the carbohydrate fraction of your diet. And you know something else? All these diets work, every last one of them, if you follow them. And if all you do is start with the things they have in common, you're halfway there. So if all these diets work, I know you're wondering, why is America and the world getting fatter? Well, that's the crux of the matter, isn't it? And the short answer is, in today's culture, that staircase to obesity is the path of least resistance. It is a path that is well worn by the tread of hopeless feet, a path from which it is hard to veer from. Doing something that is as significant as changing your world is almost like going to the moon, in a sense. We choose to go to the moon and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. 